Hi, my name is Emily Goodell um, with BaselineMX.com and I'm here to deliver an arm care program to you. The arm care program is not designed to be done before games or after games. An arm care program is just specific arm exercises to help you be more intentional and specific with your resistance training. Most of the exercises, all of the exercises are three sets of 10. That's designed to help develop a little bit of endurance through your shoulder. The goal is not to create more things for everybody to do, but to be more specific with the things that they're doing and to help understand the purpose behind some of the exercises that are being done. I would challenge you guys, if you are already involved in a resistance training program, to supplement these exercises into the program or these concepts into the program. Don't create another program for yourself. I'm delivering the arm care in two days, an A day and a B day. I would encourage two days uh, a week where you spend five to 15 minutes working on your rotator cuff strength, your scapular strength, and your scapular mechanics. These exercises are specifically designed to work on those three aspects. And I also incorporated some mobility exercises as well as some core stability exercises into the programming. The arm care program that we've designed is based on uh, standardized things that we've seen. It's not based on your individual deficits. Um, it's based on things that I've seen treating as a physical therapist. It's based on things I've experienced coaching, playing, and a physical therapist. And it's based on literature that I read uh, in my professional life. Uh, if you want a individualized program specific on your specific for your deficits, schedule an appointment. You'll find my contact information below. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching. This next exercise is a lat stretch. Um, so what Ellen's going to do is she's going to go ahead and put her elbows up on the box and she's going to, she's going to bring her knees back, but keeping her knees underneath her hips. Um, then she's going to hang onto this bat. Uh, and what she's going to do is she's going to bring her butt towards, uh, her, her feet. So she wants to maintain a neutral spine. So go ahead and let your spine cave in. That is what an example of what we don't want to do. So she wants to maintain a neutral spine and really pull through her lats. So she should get a good lat stretch with this. Uh, what the bat does is it keeps your arms externally rotated um, and gives you a little bit of an additional stretch through your lat. Um, I would hold this stretch for five deep breaths three times. Uh, lat tightness is really common in overhead athletes because we're playing a lat dominant sport where we're constantly using that muscle to pull down through our throw. So making sure that we have appropriate uh, link through it is important for functional living. Um, this next exercise is a pec stretch. Uh, so a lot of times with overhead athletes, as you come through, you're constantly tightening your pec. And so it's a good uh, muscle to make sure that we maintain appropriate mobility through. Um, Ellen is a little bit deceiving because she actually doesn't have too tight of pecs. Uh, but what she's going to do is she's going to put her elbow up on the wall here. And then she's going to kind of stretch into the front of that chest. Now, where you should feel is a good stretch right through the front of your chest. Um, you can see how she's kind of rolled forward right now. What I want her to do is, yeah, make sure she maintains good scapular control and rolls her shoulder back. Um, Ellen, can you feel a good stretch through the front of your shoulder? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're looking for is a good stretch right through the front of her pec. And I would hold it for five deep breaths three times. This exercise is a soft tissue exercise. Um, so we're gonna be using a lacrosse ball. If you don't have a lacrosse ball, you should definitely get one. They're not expensive, but they're really effective for soft tissue. Um, so this, this first soft tissue exercise that I'm gonna show you is just right on the back of your shoulder. Um, and a lot of you will notice a lot of trigger points through there, especially in season when you're throwing regularly. Um, so Ellen's gonna go ahead and put the lacrosse ball right on the back of her shoulder. It's almost on the medial part of your scapula. Um, yep. And then she's going to smash it against the wall and she's going to kind of roll on that ball till she finds some of those really tight trigger points. Um, and it will hurt a little bit. Um, if you put your arm in different positions, you'll find different trigger points. So as she moves her arm up higher, 
good. She'll find a little different spots to roll on. Um, and again, you're looking for that really painful point and you're kind of rubbing it out a little bit. Uh, this is a soft tissue exercise, again, using a lacrosse ball. And what we're going to work on is upper trap. Uh, a lot of you will notice that you're pretty upper trap dominant just because of the mechanics that we're using when we're throwing. Uh, this exercise is best when you're in a doorway, but I don't have a doorway at this second. So we're just going to use the wall and demonstrate. It'll still be effective. So what Ellen's going to do is she's going to take this lacrosse ball and she's going to kind of find those upper trap trigger points. Sorry. Yep. And she's just kind of, kind of roll through them. So if you find a good trigger point, sometimes too, you can twist your neck a little funny and it'll kind of pin that muscle and stretch it. Uh, when you, it should be, it should be a little bit painful. Not painful that you're bruising yourself, but painful like you have a really tight muscle that needs to be worked out. This exercise is focused on uh, thoracic spine rotation. Um, playing a rotational power sport, thoracic, thoracic rotation is something we do regularly and powerfully. Um, it's important to maintain mobility through your thoracic spine, and if you're stiff through your thoracic spine, you're going to get compensations up or down the chain. So what Ellen's going to do is she's going to roll over on her side. She's going to put her knee right up on the ball. Um, yep, and she's going to take her hands, start them together, and then go ahead and open up towards me. Yep, perfect. Um, and she's trying to take her shoulder blades back towards the ground. Uh, you should feel a good stretch right through the middle of your back. And then bring your arms together. I would do it ten times on both sides. Some of you might notice as you do this stretch that one, one direction you have a lot more motion in than the other direction. Um, and that's something that I would encourage you to uh, get evaluated in terms of why that might be. Um, it's going to, again, cause movement variations up and down the chain if we aren't symmetrical. I hope you enjoyed watching these videos and I hope it's helpful for what you need. If you want something that's individualized for your specific needs, uh, get in touch with me uh, and we will design a program for you.